Oh, hey, I am so glad you made it to your midweek shot in the arm. And today's shot is affliction. You ready? Let's go. Affliction, simply put, is something that causes pain, suffering, or distress. You guys already know we are headed straight to our instruction manual, okay? And today's instructions come out of the book of Psalm, chapter 34, verse 19, English Standard Version, and it reads, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Amen. Now, Per usual, I encourage you, come on, to read your instruction manual. In doing so, you will see that we are warned over and over again to expect affliction or tribulation, if you will. Okay? So let's dive right in. When we look at the A cause of our verse that says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Um, if you are righteous, and now let, let me be clear in this, that we are not perfect because it's impossible for us to be perfect. However, if you are trying to live right, okay, being righteous, doing the right thing, if you dare to live godly, then rest assured you are going to have afflictions, okay? Many of them, according to the infallible, unchanging word of God. Okay? And yes, I slowed down right there intentionally. And the reason I did that is because I want you to understand that there is no way to get around affliction because God's word does not change. So, you are not going to open your Bible one day and read that few are the afflictions of the righteous, okay? Or scant are the afflictions of the righteous. You won't open the Bible and see null and void are the afflictions of the righteous. The Word of God says many, many are the afflictions of the righteous. My God, however, there is a promise attached to the remainder of the verse, the B clause of Psalms 34 and 19 says, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. My God, my God, listen, listen. Sometime affliction shows up and it knocks the wind out of you. It leaves you speechless. It leaves you with questions. Why me? Why my family? Why us? Come on. Affliction does not come with an announcement. It just shows up because it's supposed to. Okay, but, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So listen, I don't know what your affliction looks like because it's different for everyone. It's tailored to you, for you. Okay, so if there are going to be any questions, they need to sound something like, God, what are you trying to show me? What do I need to learn in this? How can I walk this out in a way that is pleasing to you? Come on, how do I remain righteous in my affliction? Because let me tell you something, the same hand that deems you righteous is the same hand that will deliver you. The same hand that deems you righteous is the same hand that will deliver you. There is not an affliction that you can go through that the Lord can't handle. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. My loved one transitioned unexpectedly and I just can't move past it. Come on, afflicted in grief. I'm dealing with an issue in my body, this sickness. I've been to doctor after doctor and to no avail. Afflicted in sickness. 
My mind makes me believe that I will never amount to anything. Afflicted in anxiety. I thought I'd be married by now. Afflicted in relationships. Come on, I'm drowning in debt. Afflicted in finances. I thought I'd be further along in life by now. Afflicted in depression. Listen, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. I want to encourage you today because your affliction is not your end. I want you to stand on the promise of God because just at the right time, just at the appointed time, just when God says so, deliverance will be your portion. Say la, my God. Now remember, this shot is for you. So maximize your shot of affliction. Until next time.